Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but every time a unit dies, a random building teleports. Thank you very much to Luminance for making the mode. And honestly, it is pretty uh, straightforward. The one exception here are that fountains are excluded. Important note, creeps are units. So whenever a creep dies, something is going to be teleporting. It's a little silly. All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And let's get into the games. So, are we are Chaos Knight, which is cool. I am a little worried that our illusions might cause issues, but luckily, Chaos Knight's illusions, they're not that frequent, right? It's got a pretty long cooldown, so it should be fine. I'm more concerned about Terror Blade's illusions, and then I'm bonus concerned about Shadow Shaman Wards, but that's okay. We'll see how things go. Also, everybody appreciate what the map looks like while it still looks like this you know let's just have a moment to enjoy it for what it is how it belongs and how beautiful it is something just died okay oh oh ah <laughs> okay yeah no that's that's great i'm glad that you sacrificed yourself for the greater good like this so what about the solution does the solution count then i expected you to run it into the tower but oh into roshan but i guess not i don't know if anything moved it's hard to tell i mean it's really gonna go nuts once the creeps come in Hmm. Your bottom tower is under attack. And we were talking uh, with chat. I was talking with chat about the good old days of pirating music. No, no, no. I know, I know. I'm not here to like endorse pirating. Although, actually, I kind of am. Fuck it, right? Like, if you can't afford something, then you know you're not harming anybody, as far as I'm concerned. But that's not really what I'm about to like. That's not really what I'm talking about. It was more I remembered. Uh, because we were, I don't know, we were, okay, full story. We were playing some 1x6, and we were playing Ember, and it was sad. So I started playing Linkin Park, as you do. And, <laughs> naturally, right, as, as one does, I started playing Linkin Park, and then I um, just kind of, oh, our tower's gone, okay, well, that's gonna be fun. Um, but that made me remember that, like, back in the day when I was growing up, Linkin Park was, like, the big thing, right? Like, everybody was into Linkin Park. I remember a lot of my friends were really into Linkin Park. But I don't know. Something about it at the time didn't really resonate with me. I don't know what it was or why. Is that a... Oh, that's like a little statue thing. That's funny. Oh, hello there. Oh, my God. The map is such a disaster already. Hello. Thank you. But, like, something about it at the time just didn't really resonate with me all that well. Um, and and I remember that I kind of, like, I mostly listened to, like, like Hammerfall and Eminem. That was, like, a big thing, which is an interesting combination. I know. Weird combination. Don't judge me. I was, like, a teenager. <laughs> My tastes weren't fully developed yet. I'm not saying that those things are individually bad. I'm just saying that the combination is a little strange. Um, but what I thought was funny, what that, what that made me remember, is that, uh, you know, back then, I pirated a lot of stuff. Yar, har, fiddle lady. Just because uh, there wasn't really a way for me to get it otherwise. I didn't have money, so I couldn't buy anything. And even if you wanted to, to buy stuff, it wasn't that easy to just buy things, right? You just couldn't necessarily do it because, like, all of these financial infrastructures that you have today in today's internet, they didn't really exist back then. Oh, oh no, there's a tower. Oh, well, we gotta, gotta go. Right? That wasn't really a thing back then. So it wasn't as easy as you would have it today. And if you wanted to listen to music, right, you couldn't just go on Spotify or on YouTube and, and just find the music. That just wasn't really a thing. No. <laughs> you had to use different methods. 
<laughs> and what was really that that was the big thing that really brought me back because i remember i remember i was just like yeah you know, i was just like looking for music to listen to and you download like a little package with oh my courier is dead you download a little package with all of the different like like which says like Eminem complete Eminem complete disc discogra discography is that like a word I don't know complete collection and what do you find you you find a lot of Eminem that that much is correct but then you also find a lot of weird remixes which I'm pretty sure whoever uploaded the torrent they just included their own remixes and then you would also just find like people that just like vaguely sounded like the artist that you were dying to download. You know, they're just kind of like, this vaguely resem resembles what you were looking for. It's okay. Also, we'll title it appropriately. There are so many goddamn bangers that I have no idea what they are called. That I have no clue how I would ever go about finding them. That I downloaded back then off of Pirate Bay. That's what I mostly use. I wasn't really a LimeWire guy. Right, and um, I I downloaded mostly off of Pirate Bay, and there were so many bangers that were just titled like something completely wrong, and there's no way for me to figure out what these songs were, because <laughs> sometimes you would get absolute garbage in your bonus packages, right? Uh, but sometimes there was some hidden treasure in all of the garbage. I mean, uh, you know, it is the open seas after all. Sometimes you just find something. Lo Hello, are you sure this is the right spot for you to be? I don't know, it feels kind of, you know what, go nuts, dude. Who am I to tell you otherwise, right? How's our base doing, by the way? Yeah, I was worried about that. Um, okay. So, this is our... No, we... I need to find out. Is this the angel? No, that's a tower. What does the ancient look like? This tower is getting beaten by this tower right now. Ooh, rough. Let's go, buddy. The enemy's top, tower has fallen. top left? Oh, there it is. Wow, that's a smart ancient. I appreciate it. Look at that ancient. Look at that ancient. That ancient knows what's up. That ancient downloaded the complete Eminem and Hammerfall discography and did never question whether or not these two things should belong together. <laughs> That's how smart that ancient is. <laughs> Alright, go get him. Very good, very good. I don't like this guy, that's scary. Where's the ancient then? Oh, it's... no, that's that's a Rax, I think. Oh my... oh my god, there's just towers. Can I attack this? No, that's a tier 2. I, our ancient, no, the ancient is here. Okay, very good. Oh, hello, Rax. How are you doing? Heart, heart seems good. There's a lot of towers that just attack you randomly. <laughs> getting, getting a little bit, getting a little bit of healing, a little bit of regen seems actually quite useful. Okay, don't run into the tower. That's a bad idea. I'm I'm here. I'm 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 strong. I'm tanky. No, that is so close. Okay. All right. Um. Hmm. I would just like to get a hit in. Nice shackle. Actually, very good. Ah, I think they got us. Yeah, they they had some support that we didn't. Man, that's a shame. So close. I probably should have gotten uh, Reality Rift first instead of Chaos Strike. Yeah. Anyway, let's grab this. Oh, hello there. MKB on that Windrunner. But I gotta say, there was something very exciting about just never exactly knowing what it is that you're downloading. 
you know, the old times on the internet, where everybody told you that everything was a virus. And everything actually was a virus. Alright, I'm coming down there. I'll help out. Nice. You got it already. Honestly, this Dazzle is wrecking shit. Eminem.exe. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. So, how does one go about pushing anything? I mean, my current approach is mostly just kill creeps, fight enemy heroes, get strong, and hope that our towers just kind of kill theirs. There's no strategy involved with that strategy, really. It's mostly just hoping we get lucky. Which feels appropriate, to be honest. It's not like I really can make sense of this mode. Um, at least I don't know how. Real question, is a virus a living organism? I actually heard, isn't the science on that still undecided? That they're just kind of like, we don't really know if a virus should count as a living organism. But I don't know for sure, you gotta ask Mickey that kind of stuff. Hello there. Ah. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure I hesitated. That's what I get for hesitating. You should commit to what you're doing, my friends. Go download that BitTorrent. Don't worry about the fact that there's a bunch of files in there that you don't want. Don't stress about it. It'll be fine. Just be careful when opening it. <laughs> and make sure that you've got your Windows CD key list ready for when you need to reinstall again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that is everybody. Hello, what are you guys doing there? Hmm. You know, there's kind of this weird side effect that comes along with this mode. Being that there's no real expectation for where players are. Or where they are supposed to be. Like, I just... I have no idea where I should expect our opponents to be. Okay, that's their ancient. Where's our ancient? It left. It didn't, it's not here anymore. Guys, I, I think we lost our ancient. No, it's here. Ah, very good. Nice incentive where it belongs. You want know, TP here? I don't know where I'm actually going to end up. Oh, I'm actually pretty close. Let's go. No, I wanted... Ah, I was hoping I could. I would land up there. Yeah, it's done. Very good. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> no, you stay here. Ah, okay, come on, come on, come on. Very good. Can we get this tower? Oh, we can. This is just a tier one. Let's go. Let's go. We're out of mana again. Nope. Oh, that's not good. We have a lot of health region. So we have that going for us at least. And I mean, being Chaos Knight, we are just naturally tanky. But to be honest, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to really deal with this. Um, what should we buy? What's a good Chaos Knight item? A Soul Cross seems good. There's a lot of physical damage here. Good. Razor got this. What a strong boy. I think an Assault Cross makes sense. We need Assault Cross, we need MKB. And we probably need a Scotty or something for mana. Let's get Chaos Bolt cooldown reduction. Which seems bad, I don't have enough mana to use it, but that's okay. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Somebody already has an AC? What? Who? Nobody has an AC. Oh, Ebuwal is going for one. Oops. No, oh, well. Yeah, well. It's okay, we can have two ACs. It's not like we're gonna be next to each other. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like we know where we're gonna be in these fights. So, like, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. 
Let me grab this. Alright. <clears throat> I'm coming top. I mean, I'm really just like running around the place looking for things to punch. Ah, that's too many things. Oh, is that a Rax? With creeps next to it. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, we gotta take the Rax, take the Rax. No, it left. <laughs> no, the Rax left. God damn it. See, this is why we needed to be faster about it. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, come on, dude. Getting freaking stunned by the tower here. Where's that Rax? It gotta be around somewhere. It's so low. <gasps> the tower is taking it down. How many buildings are still alive? Like, how far has this game progressed? Oh, yes. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> As less towers are on the map, the remaining ones teleport way more often. In other words, it becomes increasingly more difficult to actually attack anything. Do I understand that correctly? Alright, I am... Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing some issues. <clears throat> oh, we got a Rax. That's a big win. This feels weird. Your middle tower has fallen. Our middle tower has fallen. Well, maybe don't kill our middle tower. This is their ancient. Oh, the ancient is exposed. Oh, shit. Problem. Their ancient is running. Right? Like, that's gonna just be an issue. You have one of these. Alright, we'll use an ultimate. Got a bit unlucky there, but that's okay. What? <laughs> it must have spawned next to a... It must have spawned next to a tower, right? <laughs> oh, that's just freaking... Oh, what a mode, dude. What a mode. So I randomed Chaos Knight again. Yeah, this game was all random. The previous one was all random too. And I just... I just got Chaos Knight twice. So, the Lashrak wanted to swap. I generally prefer not playing the same hero twice in a... in a row for these videos. Uh, okay, interesting. Well, I'm gonna... Go mid. <laughs> as much as that means anything, I'm not convinced it does, but we will be going mid and we will see what we can do there. <clears throat> Buy a lottery ticket. I mean, the chance is not that low, right? It's like 0.8%. Is that right? No, that's less. It's much less than that. But anyway, sometimes you just get it. I mean, double chaos night. Oh no. So that's not a good spot for that. <laughs> are they using. They are using Roshan to farm serpent wards. Not serpent wards. Plague wards, right? Or maybe just a tower to farm the plague wards? Yeah. Okay, uh, so I'm a little concerned about this situation, but at the same time, it's not really that big of a problem, right? Because, you know, I'm my worry is that our Ancient is in their base. However, by the time the Ancient becomes damageable, um, that might no longer be their base. <laughs> There's no way to know what that's... Why did my tower disappear again? Why is my tower always the first thing that goes? Oh my god. Can you, like, leave? I'm just trying my best here, dude. Yes. Okay. Your form debases. So there's uh, two of them in the mid lane. Which I guess is fine. It happens, right? 
Oh, hey, thank you, tower. Oh, there it is. All right. I'll just hang out over here. I've got a new tower. Look at that. Now I'm no longer just alone. Edict time. Oh, well, we got one of them. Let me grab this. I'll just go ahead and get another Null Talisman. And then... Oh! Good news, everybody. Our Ancient is back. That's that's very important. I'm actually kind of happy about that. <laughs> oh, hello. There's our tower. Uh, thanks for helping me push, I guess. Oh, no. You two can't attack each other because... Well, you aren't here anymore. It is true. All is chaos. Indeed. I would definitely describe what we do around here as such. Directly. You know, I was like looking at Dota streamers today. And it something that stuck out to me. And I don't know. Maybe this is gonna make me sound like an ass. I apologize if it does. I'm more presenting an observation, less so making a judgment if that's acceptable but something that stuck out to me is that none of them talk <laughs> they all just kind of sit there in silence uh, which was a little weird to me honestly because I am somebody where you can't get me to shut the hell up I mean like the reason why I stream and and uh, make videos like this is because I like talking. Yes. See, the shark agrees. I just kind of like talking about stuff. It's just kind of like, hey, hello. It is me, it is I, the talking man. You know? But it made me think that, like, dude, you know, I gotta, I gotta, like, if I, if I were to just be the ranked man, just grind Dota ranked all day, I wonder where I would be. Now, I'm not saying that I am going to start being the ranked man. I don't want to be the ranked man. That sounds terrible. But, but that's like the thing that all they do is they sit there like silently, angrily staring at their screen. Playing ranked Dota. It might also just be that I'm not the sight guys, you know? Maybe I'm just not, not the one that gets it. But it's just not what I would watch. Maybe that's just the problem. I'm not the target audience. Maybe the Dota target audience. That's actually like a big lesson that kind of like I've, I've learned and I'm still learning. Is that you are just not the demographic for everything. I'm not talking about this necessarily from a purely marketing based perspective, right? Not everything is about the intrinsic need to make money. Um, but much more from the perspective of like, you know, sometimes things are just not gonna resonate for with me. But that's not necessarily because they are bad, it's just because they are meant for a different audience, right? And I think that can sometimes be a little bit difficult to really wrap your mind around that. <clears throat> Okay. So towers are dying. Oh, hey, look at that. A tower that is dying. Please don't teleport away. I hope this tower doesn't teleport away. Good. Because I have Edict and I can probably kill it. No, I mean, I I got a lot of... <laughs> that was not a good TP, my friend. But I, I got a lot. I got a lot of damage in right there. I mean, that's pretty much dead. I think the Chaos Knight probably just got it. <clears throat> I find that kind of interesting. But it might also just be, again, that people are just there primarily for Dota, you know? They just want to watch Dota, Dota, Dota. And so it doesn't really matter that the person isn't saying anything or isn't really that interactive. That might even be a plus, because they're just there for the game. Which is a bizarre thought. <laughs> that, is, that is a strange thought to me, but I guess, you know, whatever floats your boat. Your top tower is under attack. 
But yeah, there isn't really a conclusion to anything that I'm saying here, right? Don't expect there to be a big takeaway. It was just like a thing that kind of stuck out to me. Because I was kind of looking around for some streamers that I might be able to like, you know, contact and reach out to and maybe make a connection to. Um, because I don't know, I thought like, ah, so can, can I be like a lot of... Yeah, let me be a little candid, but something that's like always bothered me a little bit about the way I do things and kind of like my place in this whole greater Dota ecosphere is that it's always been very lonely. It's just me. It's just me. It's nobody else, you know? And I, I think it would be nice. Oh, hey, there's a tower right there. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Rax. I think it would be nice to just like have some people that... Uh, I could reach out to, but there's just not. Everybody's always grinding rank. <laughs> and I'm mostly looking for people that are down to just like chill a bit. No, my career. That's okay. That's okay. Wait, looking at that team, we don't really need armor. Um, I think Eternal Shroud is better. Alright, where are their heroes? That's what I'm looking for. If I can find the heroes, then I'll... That's a tower. If I can find their towers... Your bottom yes. tower is under oh! Attack. Wait, no, that's our tower. This is a tower. Tier 1 does the tier 2, right? All is chaos. Your bottom tower is under attack. Okay, so we definitely can't kill that. Radiant structures are fortified. Hmm. Your bottom tower is under attack. What do we do about that? Your bottom tower is this fella, maybe? Okay. So be it. Ah, Very so close. Well. So close. Kind of a shame. Good. Ah, Reaper Scythe will do it, yeah. <laughs> well, there's everybody. Against the whole team like that, it's difficult to keep going. I think a Lincolns makes sense here. They have Reaper Scythe, Punch Ultimate, everything that Skyrath does. <clears throat> Admiral Bulldog, Bulldog plays Dota 2 Arcade. Yeah, guys, guys, this is always so unhelpful, right? Like, honestly speaking, and I, I know people are always trying to help, right? But it's it's just so weird when, when I say, hey, it would be nice to, like, reach out to somebody, have a conversation with them, right? And then people are just like, you know, Balmy, I have the exact right person for you. You should reach out to the Dalai Lama. I mean, I'm not saying that that would be bad. I'm just saying that that's a little unlikely to happen. <laughs> we might need to set our sights a little lower than that, my friends. <laughs> you know? Okay, there is a, a punch. Very good. Thank you very much. There's this weird thing about um, relationships between streamers, right? Where it always comes with this weird subliminal suggestion that it might not be, it might not be genuine. Even if it is, which makes things difficult, right? Because let's let's play this out. Let's say I want to reach out to somebody like Admiral Bulldog. Somebody who's got tens of thousands of viewers. Incredibly popular, right? Then, he might think, very likely to think, and who can blame him, that, hey, Balmy only wants to reach out 
Because he knows I have tens of thousands of viewers. And if he hangs out with me, then maybe he'll get tens of thousands of viewers. And all of a sudden, Mr. Bulldog not so interested anymore. Because now it's not about... Oh, hello, there's just a tower nowadays. Can we get this now? Because now it's not so much about a mutual relationship anymore. It's about me wanting to benefit off of him. Now, you might say, well, that's not true, right? I'm like, yeah, that wouldn't be necessarily true. But even if it's not true, that is still an aspect of the relationship that would undeniably exist, making it difficult to manage that sort of situation. It's like being friends with your boss. Can you do it? Absolutely. But is it a little weird sometimes? Yeah. It's kind of tricky. Right? And is it a good idea? Not necessarily. That's why when, you know, people like me, like streamer, YouTuber, those folks, are looking to kind of like form relationships with people in the same ecosystem, what we do is we look for people within our range. Right? With about the same viewership. And then it's even better if you are contacting people that have less viewers than you. Because then you can't really benefit that much off of them. At least that's how the mindset goes. Of course, that's not entirely true either. It's kind of difficult, right? It's a kind of a tricky situation. Ah. Okay, yes, heal me. That's actually very good. Now yeah, let's go. Damn it, Skyrim is tough though. So much damage from that. We need some more survivability. But do you understand why that's kind of difficult? Right? So when people come in and they're just like, hey, you know, you should contact this, the biggest streamer you I, I can find, then it's like, it doesn't really work that way because they are probably not going to respond. And even if they do respond, right? Like they're going to look at me the same way they look at the other 15 people that have probably contacted them for the exact same reason today. You see, that's the next problem, right? The bigger people are, the more likely they are to get these kinds of... Um, the, to, to get into these kinds of situations more frequently. I need to look out for our ancient. Where is our ancient? We are the ancients in general. This is our ancient... No, it's just left. Um... Chat, where's our ancient? Ah, there it is. Okay, our ancient is not exposed. What about their ancient? Also not exposed. Good. Good to know. Same happens with any kind of collaboration between artists, for example, musicians. Exactly. It's always a little difficult. Right? It's always tricky. And, um... I think music, the musician thing is actually a, a good suggestion. You know, like, imagine I was a musician and I was like, hey, I would like... I would like to find somebody that I can can col like kind of collaborate with and maybe like form uh, like some sort of like working relationship with, but also maybe like something a bit personal, like somebody I can make friends with. Then you can. Oh my God! No! What? <laughs> it just fucking ends all of a sudden. Oh man! I just checked the ancients too. I thought we were still gonna keep going. This game is stupid. <laughs> Right, and 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 then yeah, exactly. And then we've uh, then you show up, me like Balmy. I have the perfect person person for you. You should call Lady Gaga. And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> I'm not saying that that would be a bad situation. I'm just saying again, it's a little unlikely. Anyway, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that the games just kind of ended weirdly, but it's just kind of a weird mode. But I still thought it was interesting, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload it. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.